Hey everyone, today I'm gonna to be sharing three awesome apps for DIY brand and product photography. Let's get started. App number one, Lightroom CC Mobile. I love it, it's amazing. It's mostly free. So if you actually have an Adobe photography subscription, then you get a couple extra features that go along with this app. But if you don't, and you're just looking for the free app, you can use most of it just for free. And it is so much fun. So the Lightroom app actually has a camera built in that allows you to take more professional looking photos with your smartphone. You can put it on pro mode, you can adjust the settings and you can make the photo brighter if you want or darker if you want. It just gives you so many more tools. Plus you can photograph images in raw file format, which is a really powerful thing to be able to do with your DIY brand and product photos. What it allows you to do is capture images with a wide range of data. So normally we capture them just in JPEG. JPEG is just what you see is what you get. But with raw photos, also called DNG in this app, you are capturing a whole bunch of data from the scene. So if you take a shot and it's kind of dark and then you go to edit it, you're actually pulling in data from the actual scene, as opposed to just manipulating the pixels that you see, like what happens with the JPEG. So Lightroom allows you to do that. Now, not only that, but you can edit your photos right in the app. And it's actually a pretty robust little editing tool. I mean, you're gonna wanna fine tune things very carefully because it's just sliders that you're using probably with your finger or whatever. Can be difficult to fine tune, but with practice, you'll really be able to take a great photo and then edit it really well with the Lightroom app. Now, the last thing I'll say about the Lightroom app that is so super cool is the fact that you can use presets. You can actually buy presets online and use them with the app, even if you're on the free plan. I have a set of Lightroom presets for mobile just for product-based sellers. So people who are taking product photos and want to be able to edit them kind of like with one click edits, I sell a set of those and people can use that with the free version of the app. I will include a link to those in the description below. So make sure you check those out. App number two is a Lux meter. So this is actually called, there's a few different ones on Android and on iPhone. And you know, the important thing is just to get one called a Lux meter that has good reviews. So I know on iOS, there's one called Galactica Lux meter on Android. There's one called, I think it's called light meter. And then in brackets, it says Lux meter. And there's a few different ones. So the important thing is just to grab one that has decent reviews. Now, what a Lux meter actually does is it measures the amount of light in a given space. So if you're trying to take a photo in a certain area and the photo kind of seems like it might be too dark or you want to test it out beforehand, you can actually use the app on your phone with the camera on your smartphone and just kind of point it at the scene and it will register roughly how many Lux are in an area. Now, for good photo, you'd like to have a thousand lux or higher, ideally. So this will help you evaluate if the area where you're trying to take a photo really does have adequate light or not. And if it doesn't, you can make some changes like moving to a different space, maybe adding some white foam boards to help contain the light to that space to really strengthen the lux. There's a few different things that you can do, but this app is going to help you identify if where you're shooting actually has enough light. So if you're struggling with light, this app will help identify whether there's just not enough light there, or maybe it's a setting on your camera or something like that. So really, really handy tool to have. Plus it's free and you gotta love it. Please make sure you download that and you can start checking out your lighting setups. Number three is Canva. Who doesn't love Canva? So if you're not already using Canva, you should. You can download the app on your phone. It is free. You can pay for, I think it's called Canva for work, and it will allow you to upload a brand color palette, some custom fonts and things like that. But just the free version alone is really impressive. And it really is helpful in creating branded graphics for your social media. So if you are selling a product and you want to upload a pin to Pinterest, for example, then there's all kinds of templates for Pinterest. So just like tall pins, you can take a Pinterest template, you can, you know, plug in the colors that go with your brand. You can, you know, change the text and pop your product image in there. And the same thing goes for if you are, you know, posting a blog post or something like that on Pinterest. You can upload one of your awesome DIY brand photos, change it up to look like your brand, and then bam, 
share it on Pinterest. Same goes with Instagram or LinkedIn or a Facebook cover photo or whatever, marketing graphics, something for your website. There's so many things that you can do with Canva right on your phone. So I really love it. I use it quite a bit when I'm looking to just kind of whip up a graphic for my Facebook group or something like that. There's a lot of cool things that you can do with that. Really, really great for creating marketing graphics with those awesome DIY photos that you have been taking. Okay, so if you are looking to get some inspiration about what kinds of photos you can be sharing on your Instagram that will help create a lot of interest, a dynamic feed, and make sure you don't run out of ideas, I have a really great freebie for you link is in the description. It shares the nine types of photos that you should be taking and sharing on social media to create more interest and create that dynamic feed that you see when you click through to somebody's profile and you just see such a fantastic variety of photos. This is going to help make sure that you always have inspiration for your shoots and you never run out of ideas. So go ahead and grab that in the link below. Now, don't forget to hit subscribe so that you get a notification every time I release a new video and I'll see you next week. Thank you.